Pearl Tutorial Part 57 CGI.PM Passing a Form Here we have our form that we have created over the last two tutorials. Now in this tutorial we will pass this form and print out some results. So let's go back to our code first of all. I want to submit this form to itself so this can be left a blank. So this can either be the address of the script or it can be blank. It will do exactly the same thing. Now let's scroll down and start adding our parameter fields to collect the data. Now first of all I want to change the comma at the end of the form function to a colon. And now in here we're going to print out our results. Now we're going to put in a bunch of if statements. So if the parameter exists after it has been submitted then we will print it out. So if CGI param and then we put our parameter in there. So first of all we had our text box with the name text box. So if the text box parameter is not equal to nothing, let's print text box CGI Param text box and let's put a line break in. And a new line. Okay, so if our text box parameter exists, we will print that out. Now let's copy this line. Let's copy it down six more times. So there's seven altogether. So we've got seven fields. Like so. And now just change all the names. So password radio check boxes scroll box text area and hidden. And finally, scroll along and change these ones here.
like that. Now after all these if statements have been set up, our script is ready to run. So save the script and upload it to your server in ASCII mode and schmod it 755 and then we will fill in our form and run it. Here is our form up on the web. Now let's fill in some fields. And let's submit our form. And here we have our results. Text box, my text. Password, my pass. Green, burger fries, coke. A hat. It's a great form. And our hidden form field, toys. Let's select blue just a burger and coke and a coat so that's how to pass a form with cgi.pm